very easy to prove, but this was very appealing to our statisticians because when we are considering our box diagram, we had this box diagram plot, we had variety and we had yield and we had a random input error. Then if we ask ourselves the question, why are the points different? Why do we see variation among the measured yields? Then the answer is partly because some of the yields come from different varieties and partly because even under the same variety there is random variation. So any variability that you see here is the net effect of variability among the varieties and random error. And this precisely captures that same intuitive idea because this between sum of square is basically the variability introduced by the variety because the three varieties are different. That is why you get BSS. And within sum of square is measuring the variability that is introduced by the random error because why is this point differing from that point? That is not because of variety because both of them come under the same variety. So these difference within each cluster, within each class, that definitely comes because of the random input. So I can as if say this is the total sum of square and that is split up into two parts, part for the variety and the remaining part for this. And this is something which appealed very much to our statisticians because it captures algebraically our intuitive notion that any variation that you see in the yield and they used to call it TSS for total sum of square. So TSS is indeed split up into two parts, one because of each of the inputs and this captures the intuitive thing as well as it is a rigorously provable algebraic identity. And this is what they call analysis of variance. You have the total variability, you analyzed it, you split it such that you ascribe part of it for this input and part of it for that input. And for a long time, historically, this love affair continued and statisticians would like to get whenever there is any box diagram and there are multiple inputs, they will like to split up the variation, this total sum of square that they are saying, that is if you just take the grand mean, subtract the grand mean from all the observations, square them and add that quantity, they wanted to split up exactly using some algebraic identity such that part of it will be because of this, part of it will be because of this and part of it will be because of this because that sort of captures the idea that any variability that you see here must be the result of variability among the different inputs and they wanted to measure it in an algebraically precise way.